All right, guys. So I got the uh, review for the Magic Mouse. So here it is once again. You already seen it in the unboxing. And once again, I'm gonna say the cam, my webcam on my MacBook Pro receives images backwards when you're recording. So the Apple logo is backwards. This is really on this side. And same with this Apple logo. It is bad news. Alright, so. Design. Alright, I really love the design. The back is aluminum. It's really simple. These little rubber. It's not rubber, it's more of plastic. These little black things are here. They're really smooth on, on any surface, really. And they don't protrude too much, so it feels very elegant. It's smooth. <clears throat> and it's um, pure aluminum. This is pure aluminum. And uh, you just, for the battery, you just prop it up. Like you push this down, this little black thing. And you just kind of prop this thing open. This is aluminum here. I'll drop it on something. Yep. That's, uh, that's pure aluminum. And there's a battery compartment right there. It com it comes with free batteries. Something else you know. I opened up the battery compartment and one of the batteries was placed in backwards and that was just when it came. It was already backwards, so I had to fix that before the battery blew up. Um Apple, yeah, you should put it in the right way, not the backwards way. Well, it was probably assembled in China, so do something about that in China. Alright, so and then just kinda do it like that. Put it down, kind of push right there. All right, so it's sealed now. And we have this little thing. And you know how in other mice, there's a red light. There's no red light. It's invisible light. So that's amazing. And then when you push this up, like there. See a little green light. If it's steady, if it's flashing. That means it's not connected. If it's a steady light, that means it's connected. So if I use it right now, it's not going to do anything because it's not connected to my Mac yet right now. Let's turn that off. Um, so that's the design. And Oh, yeah. And the plastic shell at the top. This is really smooth. It feels really nice. And it feels like it can last a while. However, it, it might or might not catch fingerprints. I don't think it catches fingerprints that quick because it's white and you can't really tell. But it can get scratched pretty quick, and I already have like a really, really tiny scratch. We can't see it. That's a good thing. It's a white, so you can't see the scratches. It's really hard. You just just wipe it over with some cloth, and it'll be clean. So that's the design of it. Now let's go to how it actually works when it's synced up with the Mac. So basically, um, you the clicking goes from here. about right there so this is the front this is the back so it goes from here all the, that's where you can click but you can't click here but multi-touch works from the top all the way to about the right about the apple logo so multi-touch works further out than the clicking all right so yeah features are you can do secondary click all right remember it's backwards so secondary click you just put right here on the right side. If you're left-handed, you can do it sort of like this. Then this is just a regular click. Then one finger down and up is to scroll on a page. Same with this. You can scroll like this, like on iTunes or something, on Colorful. And then you have, okay, if you press Control on, on your Mac, and you move your finger up and down, you can zoom in and out. So it's not pinch. But it, instead, you just push control and do that. That's basically the same thing. Except on this, you can only zoom in on one thing. On um, the pinch, on the pinch one, you can do the entire screen. Alright. So it's that. Yep. Those are the multi-touch functions. It's really nice. It's, it feels durable. It's really heavy. Well, it's not really heavy, but it's just the right weight. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's not light and cheap like those PC mice, like the ones made by HP or Dell or whatever. They're not. It's not cheap and light. 
but it's not too heavy and uncomfortable. A lot of people saying they don't like having their wrist up like this and holding it, where other mouses, mice, you can hug the whole entire thing, but you can't because obviously it's too small to hug. And if you hug it too much, it'll tell multi touch. Oh, yeah, multi touch. This is to go back on a web page and forward on a web page. Sorry about that. That's, yeah. Multi touch gets messed up if you have the entire hand. But if you have majority of it off, even the part that's still sensing, you can still use multi touch like this. But I don't have a problem with that. I mean, I can just do this the entire day. I have strong wrists, but a lot of people are complaining about that. Because it's so low pro profile. So, yeah. Well, so who is this mouse exactly for? Well, I like it because trackpad, I get cramped up on it. You know, it's like really, really small and you get cramped up. And the mouse, you can, if you're more open, you can do whatever you want, you know. It works up to 33 feet away, so it's really nice. It works pretty far away. So, I really love this mouse. I recommend it, but I would like Apple to drop its price down by $10. Right now, it costs $69, so it's about $70. If it went down to $60, $59 or $60, or maybe even $55, that would be great. Um, I don't think it's worth $70, but I got $5 off because I got it on Black Friday. But yeah, it's a really nice mouse. I think tracking speed can be a little bit better. Just a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Tracking speed. Because even when it's up on max, it can still be a little bit better. Um, the battery life is great. It's still on 100%. I've been using it every day since Friday. Today's Monday. It's still at 100%. So The battery life works great. And it comes with batteries. So they're not apples on cheap. They're giving you what you paid for. And it's really nice and shiny and glossy and whatever. But, yeah. The aluminum feels really nice. So, that's just a basic uh, review over it. It's not too extensive. If you want an extensive review, go to DRBUK's re Magic Mouse Review. That's D-R-B-U-K. And just go to his Magic Mouse Review and check his review. His is way more extensive. He has five parts. I think they're five parts or six parts. And each part is like 8 to 10 minutes long. So, you know, he covered a lot. This was just a really small review. It wasn't much. So, yeah, it's a magic mouse. It's a really nice machine. Great for Max. Alright, see you later.